My background looks terrible. So I can't really make a top 5 countdown for the storm season of 2021 because that would end up something like this. Number 15, Springtime Snowstorm. The last thing you want in your storm season is somebody else's snow, but as it turns out that might be what you get. From my perspective, the 2021 storm season was interesting in some wrong ways. There were periods of inactivity and also some failures on my part. However, it did still present some pretty amazing opportunities when it came to severe weather and other interesting weather events taking place in northern Indiana. And in this video, we're going to look back at the 2021 storm season, a season that I can only respond to with one word. What? Actually, the storm season of 2021 was slightly delayed by an incredible surge of winter weather which took place from January and lasted into April. This included historic and deadly winter storms, including the winter storm which took place from February 13th to 17th across North America and killed at least 237 people. There's no It was the costliest winter storm on record, causing nearly $200 billion in damage. The early predictions that the 2021 storm season was going to be active seemed to be verifying when we had two high risks in March taking place over the Deep South. Only two days later, we would see our first strong thunderstorm of the year up in northern Indiana. This was on the north side of the system. Welcome to the first chapter of storm season 2021 with this elevated thunderstorm going on right over here behind me. Uh, I don't know if it's warned or anything. Uh, I haven't seen any of the recent warnings or special weather signals, but it is quite a storm. certainly some amazing opportunities. When March ended, something weird happened to the storm season. We entered a period of inactivity of severe weather and more winter weather. This included a significant April snowstorm, the biggest I've seen in April in my life, and a snow squall outbreak, complete with thunder snow and even a friggin' snow supercell that came out of nowhere. That is thunder snow, man! The lack of severe weather activity in April, May, and early June made me sad. This was the broadest problem of the 2021 storm season, this inactive period when we would normally see an increase in significant severe weather events. There was one event that I managed to accidentally get onto, though, as a random supercell blew up around the Logansport area. The only thing worse than an inactive storm season might be Centipedes. <laughs> Thankfully, that all came to an end in mid-June. June 18th began a three-day series of severe thunderstorms over the southern Great Lakes, and would feature tornadoes in Indiana and Ohio. Although I didn't get in on any of the tornadoes, I did see the base of a severe thunderstorm warned for 70 mile per hour winds. What followed was an incredible period where every night featured spectacular lightning shows, including one of my favorite time lapses ever, which shouldn't be surprising considering the fact that K profiles were about as thick as Corpse Grinder's neck.
Perhaps this scene here could encapsulate my favorite things of summer, all rolled into one. fireworks, lightning bugs, and a very aggressive supercell. What a lightning show, and a fireworks show, and a lightning bug show. However, my enthusiasm was unfortunately short-lived. A few days later, on June 25th, I missed an opportunity to chase tornadoes nearby. I was left in the aftermath, desiring more storms. Thankfully, I was able to intercept numerous thunderstorms in the coming days. On June 26th and 27th, Several strong thunderstorms, including supercells and incredible shelf clouds, came rolling through northern Indiana. No. And with July, I would officially return to intercepting severe thunderstorms. It was on July 7th, 2021 that I got my first severe thunderstorm of the season. A severe microburst which happened along an axis of significant downdraft cape and large instability that had built up all day during the afternoon, finally culminating in a menacing thunderstorm in the evening, which dropped tremendous lightning and extremely strong winds. Chihuahua on crack, I was practically jumping around with a thrill that only severe weather can bring. The next day I returned to the scene, and in this never before seen footage, I found a swath of significant corn damage, only a few hundred yards away from where I had been shooting. I also found fence damage and some siding damage to houses nearby. Only days later, additional severe thunderstorms would come rolling through northern Indiana, bringing significant winds, heavy rain, and damage.
At last, the 2021 storm season had turned around, and I was in my element. The rest of summer wore on with relatively little severe weather in the region. One unusual weather feature that persisted over Indiana for several days in summer was an unusually thick smoke plume which hung over the region from historic wildfires in the western US and in Canada. But my goal, as always, was thunderstorms. There is a period beginning on the 1st of June and ending on the last day of August which I call lightning season. It's during this point of the year that thunderstorms are most likely to produce spectacular lightning displays, and I'm always on the hunt for a new shot. I got some amazing photos but didn't quite get what I was looking for. I would continue my pursuit into fall. One of the last chases of the year occurred on September 14th as numerous strong thunderstorms developed over northern and central Indiana, progressing eastward through the evening and bringing strong winds and extremely heavy rain. Okay, so we're out on a slight risk September day. Slight risk over northern Indiana, parts of west central Indiana, up into Michigan. Cloud formations were undeniably beautiful and proved my saying a thunderstorm doesn't have to be severe to be beautiful. But severe wind or hail is a good touch. Everyone thought the storm season had ended when a historic heat wave came into the Midwest in October. For several days, we were in the 70s and even the 80s, breaking records and making it one of the warmest Octobers ever recorded in the region. Along with this came an increase in thunderstorms, which included severe weather. In the surprise event, a tornadic thunderstorm moved through parts of Indiana, doing some damage but never producing a confirmed tornado. This is the south side of that storm as it began to weaken and pass off to my west. And who could have known? that the greatest lightning show of the whole year would come in October. We have some elevated showers coming in over western, northwestern Indiana along the cold front. No surface based instability, it's all elevated. High base showers with incredible lightning. Some of the best lightning I think of the entire year. And I am taking pictures right now. Uh, 
absolutely friggin' insane for October, what the crap? After an entire storm season of looking, I finally got the lightning shots that I was looking for. And with this grand finale, the storm season of 2021 came to an end. In retrospect, the 2021 storm season was not my best, but not my worst. It was saved by severe thunderstorms in the summer and by spectacular lightning displays later in the year. But my story of the 2021 season is rather incomplete, it only tells one fraction of a broader tale. And because of this, it's better captured through the lenses of other storm chasers. There were so many talented storm chasers who got amazing footage in the 2021 season, but I feel that the best thing that can come from this video is bringing more attention to their work. I'm going to share some channels of these talented chasers in the description of this video and I would encourage you to check them out. They include James Treft, Jonathan Glesner, and Norman Smith of the SCO Group, as well as Lucas Munzlinger. I also had the opportunity to team up once again with Andrew Dickmeyer for a spectacular project which captures the emotional aspect of the 2021 season as you ride through from different perspectives which includes footage from me and others. I would also like to thank David Schlotthauer for allowing me to join him on some of his live streams as we track severe weather. The wind is cold, the air is dry, and winter has arrived. The storm season of 2021 is over, and its challenges are in the past. However, we're at the dawn of the 2022 storm season. Hopefully the storm season of 2022 offers many amazing opportunities for everyone out there. And to all the chasers who are going to be pursuing these opportunities, I wish you excellent success and safety. Thank you to all the chasers, spotters, and meteorologists who were involved in the 2021 storm season. And thank you all for watching this video and staying with my channel, even though it was rather crap this year. I hope to be bringing some amazing content in 2022 and far beyond. In the meantime, have a good winter, and a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next storm.